What's up, Otaku family? I'm Don. I'm Bren. We are the Otaku Couple, back with more reactions here for the channel. Y'all blew up the <laughs> last Gidget video we did here on the channel. You guys dropped a lot of suggestions for more of his videos that you want us to react to. One of them being the winter anime uh, that he did for 2021, I believe. Or it was maybe it was this year, for the beginning of this year. Can't remember which one. So... Amongst everything else, we will be getting to more of his videos, but this one just recently dropped, so figured why not go ahead and just start with this one, especially since we have been either watching or reacting to a lot of this, mm -hmm. you know, spring mm -hmm. anime, 2022 animes anyways. So, we might be able to enjoy this one a little bit more, stuff that we actually know, or both of us have watched. Ren hasn't seen a lot of anime, we're getting there, don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> As always, if you guys want to see more of his videos, you guys got to let us know by be sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Every little bit helps. Be sure to go check him out and check out the original. We'll be pausing it, talking about it, all that good stuff. That's what we do around here. You should join our Discord for all of our community events and check us out on Patreon for full uncut TV show and anime reactions. Links to those are down below in the description. Let's hop on in. Spring Anime 2022 in a nutshell. <laughs> All right, we're jumping straight into this one. Last season, there were some absolutely heavy hitters. We got you photoball just completely flexing. The attack oh, yeah. money, my dress up darling. No, our dress up darling. And of course, <laughs> let's not forget Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 12, Chapter 4, Remix, Second but Gig, Part 2.1. You cannot rumble. These were some you cannot titles, rumble. but this season looks like we got way more to choose from. Spy X Family is starting, Kaguya so Summer good. is back. We've got like 10 new different shows that have genuinely caught my interest. It is looking good. It is looking bright. It is looking old. Oh, hello. What's this? <laughs> You should I do like ballet. This, Give me one good reason I should do ballet. Well, what do you think? <laughs> You've heard of Daddy Long Legs. Well, get ready for Mummy oh. Long Necks. Right. Mummy Long Necks. We're going to skip this because la -di da it's an anime about ballet. But damn, does this look like it has potential. Coming straight from Studio Mappa, just flexing Ooh, their animation. Mappa. The okay. dancing okay. scenes are bursting with life and energy that absolutely engrossed me. It honestly looks gorgeous with zero CG in sight. This has the making of a great sports anime mixed with Billy Elliot. But I also remember what happened when they did Yuri on Ice. So we'll have to wait to see if they're able to maintain this fantastic quality throughout. Until then, just look at these necks! So those necks. Before we get to our next show, a quick word from our sponsor. Hi there. I couldn't help but notice that beautiful head of hair you have. Don't you want to make sure you have it f for keeps? Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep, love you, bro. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Thank you. <laughs> Corner, we somehow got another season of Data Live. There's more Black Rock Shooter. Komi san is still deciding whether talking is a good thing. <laughs> It's another still bad. show Chill along here. with Kagi-sama that no one on our Patreon wants thing. us to react to. <laughs> right. It's still good. Oh, hey, more Kagi-sama. <laughs> oh, hey, more Isekai. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Alright, just hear me out. There are so many shows that use some self-aware meta twist on the isekai cliches that being meta has become cliche itself. Because almost True. all of them just change some cheap element like, What if the protagonist was an OP for once? So it's rare when you see a show that's actually got some thought put into it. Here's a world where isekai is commonplace. In fact, so many people from Japan have been isekai'd there, they've made the ultimate isekai starter town. Japan too. So in this kind of world, what do you think would nice. happen if we give a bunch of normal people superpowers and transport them to a fantasy world they have no investment in? Defeat the demon lord, save the world and respect women? Hell no, they're gonna fuck shit up, ruin things and then maybe respect women. So here the native <laughs> inhabitants have needed to make an organization women. around assassinating people that have been isekai before they become a threat to the world. That's right, we're so bored of the isekai protagonists that we have now made a show focused around killing them. Is that like a personal attack or something? The show is hella <laughs> meta, but not enough. Yes. Yes, it is. Damn. Funny enough, we are currently reacting to Kanasubo over on oh, our Patreon. Lord. And yeah, like that's 
probably the most meta isek like meta isekai that I've seen so far where the dude is just like oh yeah it's like a video game and he's fucking died three times already and come back even though he's he told us after the first time he, nah, he wasn't gonna come back again <laughs> but came back. he did in a way that seems gimmicky or cheap the tropes we are so familiar with have been used to shape the world and it feels like real thought has been put into how it was built from the ground up this is one of the most intriguing concepts I've seen for isekai in a while and I'm excited to see where this one goes it does but sound interesting. that's not the only one we got a guy who wakes up in an Atoma game who was forced to come complete 100% so now he's in an IRL new game plus except he absolutely hated the game with a fiery passion so he oh. just uses his knowledge to fuck up all the shit for all the characters he hates in the game and also there's Max actual Ooh. 2D Max in an isekai I wasn't wow. lying when I said before that there is more variety in new and unique isekai concepts now more than ever oh hey it's Overlord <clears throat> anyway as I was saying Tokyo City Esperion FC Yuse Kantoku Fukuda Tatsuyada Barsa Madori Manchester mo Milan mo tataki tsubus. Mate, you f***ing what, mate? You think you're better than United City and Barca, mate? Grealish was f***ing my mate. Sterling's left foot has got more talent than your entire country, mate. F***ing my grandma can dribble the ball better than you, mate. Mate, you ain't no Cristiano f***ing Ronaldo, are you? Go f***ing off, mate. I'll f*** you up. You f***ing little b***. Finally, there's potential for a modern good football anime. None of this futsal shit, none of this American rugby shit, just some good old football. If there's one studio I trust with sports anime, it's good Production IG, soccer. and football is the one sport yeah, I really want fair. a new great Production anime IG for because maybe for once, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to wrap my head around the fucking offside rule. Seems like this is going to be on the more realistic side of things, but I'm definitely interested to see what kind of special anime moves these players will get. <gasps> He's gonna use his secret technique. The secret and do with technique. The, the secret technique. Ooh. Hey, you're flying low. What? The cucumber has left the salad. What? Men are from Mars and women can see your penis. What? You look like you're going to a JoJo fan meetup. Oh my god, my flies are undone. From Komi-san can't communicate, we now have a oh, no. san is indecipherable. Another feel-good comedy about a cute little girl who can only verbalize herself by speaking fluent ASMR. Now the new waifu category popping up I like to call professional mouth breathers. You know, with the gimmick that her voice is so quiet that not a single person could even hear her, I don't know why they didn't just go ahead and call this a silent voice. Wait. There's also a Super <laughs> Sentai romantic comedy where a Red Ranger fell in love with a villainess and they have to continue their relationship in secret by pretending to be enemies. It's your typical standard star-crossed lovers with a tokusatsu twist, you know, with the gimmick that they're dating but also have to pretend that they're in combat with each other. I don't know why they didn't just go ahead and call this love. So it's... It's Cyborg and Jinx from Teen Titans. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. it's literally? I yes. guess. It's I what... mean, look at her outfit and look at his Power Rangers. Love is war for. Fuck. There's an anime where a poor girl accidentally joins an agency and becomes the manager of a bunch of stuck-up guys who are popular but also complete assholes. I believe uh -huh. the agency was called Geeks Plus. We got another Demon Academy <laughs> wannabe. I don't know why these reincarnated demon lords are even trying when Anos Voldigode already exists. I mean, look, we got Giga Chad Anos. Beats a man to death with his heartbeat, collects a harem immediately, yeets a castle into Narnia, and even melts a Cinderace's heart in two episodes. And then you have this guy, reincarnated demon lord, most powerful being on earth. Can't speak to girls. At this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if he changed his pronouns <laughs> from he, girls. him to just he. Because he'll never be him. <laughs> that was a good line. He'll never be him. <laughs> him. Why, why are you singing? Her face! Here's a wild card for you. We've got a bloody musical anime this season around girls really? who can heal people with the power of singing. Which made me realize I don't think we've had a musical anime before. I Characters will just randomly break out a song, instruments magically start playing out of someone's ass. I'm not typically a Oh god, it's high school musical the anime. Oh god. And it's called Healer Girl, so it's magical. Oh, we're definitely gonna do a drinking game for this one in the Discord when it's finished. Oh, Every time they break in song, we drink. Oh no. It's gonna happen. We're gonna magically happen. start playing out someone's ass. I'm not typically a musical guy, but I was impressed. Though thinking about it, I don't know how good my health it would be if I just went to the doctor for a headache and they started busting out I dreamed a dream. Not enough healing for you? <laughs> no worries, as we've got cute little baby ghosts to help you get through a tough work day. I you know, I would call ghost. this the perfect cure for depression until I realized that this is just Sanko-san. 
Dead Baby Edition. Okay. Dead oh, Baby Edition. No. <laughs> when I saw the trailer for this and manga readers absolutely hyped this up, I was prepared for the possibility that I could be selling all of my Marin stocks and going all in on the Shikimori train. This was the potential new face of Best Girl, but now... Look at these diamond hands, baby. We've got a girlfriend who's proving to be the most effective anti-isekai weapon developed thus far. Protective of a precious little boyfriend. I mean, just look at this guy. Tell me this isn't the face of a man only a peg could love. This is another show in the recent trend of anime looking at single weaves dead in the eye and going, You will never get this. You will never get this. La 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 la. And look, this is a cute little slice of life, but do people really think she has a shot of taking the crown from our queen of best girls when a gimmick is just basically, I can be your angle? Or your devil. Maybe this will impress me more as the series goes on, but my current forecast is to keep hodling on Marin, weebs, because it looks like there isn't going to be a clear best girl this season. Anya. All right, sell everything around me. Anya, straight yep, up. Yep, yo, best facts. Girl. We are yeah. reacting to Spy Family currently over on our Patreon every week as it comes out. Episode 4 will be coming out sometime this week. It should be out Monday of this week. So Anya, actually, by the time you guys see this, it should already be out on our Patreon. But yes, Anya is great. We love her. So is your. Mm. She is also best. Yours is also. Everybody, the whole family, the yeah. whole family. Whole family, best are girl. Great. Girl best girl, the whole family, even Lloyd. <laughs> All right, sell everything, Robin. Sell everything for the peanuts. Give me everything you want right now. All right, here's the big one. Shonen Jump just seems to be in a league of its own right now. Every time a uh -huh. new title gets adapted, not only is it great, but without fail, always jumps up to become the most prominent anime of its season. And Spy X Family seems to be doing exactly that. This show has quickly become the talk of the anime community, and I can absolutely see why. You got a masterfully done comedy involving the most dysfunctional family of all time with a spy dad, an assassin mom, and a cute little girl who can read minds, taking uh -huh. place in the completely fictional city of Berlin. Man, I can't wait for them to go to Londain and stop off at Buda Pizen before they fly Buda off to Buda it's not Paris so they can end the journey in Amsterdam Daniel. The setup Amsterdam is Daniel. <laughs> yeah. You know it's I really want to know how long it takes for him to write his scripts because they're always great. Yeah. Straight to the point. The jokes are great. They land well every single time. Just kudos to you. <laughs> kudos to you, Darn. <laughs> kudos to you. Can't believe it's not Paris so they can end the journey in Amsterdam, Daniel. Daniel. The setup is absolute chaos, but so far it's delivered in almost every single aspect <laughs> from comedy to badass moments to scenes with Anya. Just any scenes with Anya. All scenes with Anya. Just give me more Anyas. We need more <laughs> Anyas. I'll take 10 of your finest Anyas. Give me your entire stock of Anyas. This one is looking like the full package and with Studio Wits and Cloverworks taking the helm for this one, this is a definite must watch for every anime fan out there. Wait a minute, where do I recognize that room from? Oh no. Oh no. Ah uh, yes, another Do we, do we? Do I'm kind of mad I said the oh no as soon as he did. Do we have to do that? Apparently we did. Cultured anime weebs. Uh, no. You know exactly what we're talking about. Where do I recognize that room from? Oh no. Ah uh, yes, another seasonal anime death game called... Called... Squad Game. Who you ever call me that? I was expecting this one to be some <laughs> King's Game so bad it's good level of trash, but it's actually half decent. These aren't just mindless death games. The amount of game theory potential here makes this an entertaining watch. There's a group of friends working together to decrease a substantial debt they are sharing, but of course there's a snake in the group they gotta weed out. And uh -huh. you know what that means. There's only one animal. You kill a snake. A mongoose? <laughs> Cute girl in real estate. Now here's a concept where I thought, what the fuck is the target audience for this show? Who's out there fantasizing about owning real estate in a fantasy world? Then I realized that this entire show probably took less time to write, produce, and animate than it does to actually get a house in Final Fantasy XIV. I quit hearing. I remember a few seasons ago when Realist Hero aired and I was just like, oh hey, a kingdom management anime. That's a pretty original idea. This is now the third one in two seasons. And yeah. I love it. I think I found a new <laughs> guilty pleasure genre because it's like watching a new playthrough of Civilization. Except I can just watch an entire season of these anime faster than it would take to set up and complete a single game of Civ 6. Oh no, a golf anime. Hit a ball with a stick Mate, to make literally money. literally what a pro golfer does. Look, I'm just going to say it. Golf is boring. It is. To watch. It is just not a fun spectator sport. That is, but. unless you add cute anime girls, Mario Golf special abilities, a fucking underground golf gambling syndicate. This girl just hit a drive through a fucking moving train. This is golfing in the Happy Gilmore universe, and it is better for it. Birdie Wing might actually do the impossible. Make golf 
fun to watch. This is surprisingly an anime original coming from Studio Sunrise, which is so oh. out of their ballpark because unless you told me, there was absolutely no way I could have known that this was a Studio Sunrise made show. Gunpla. I stand corrected. Trust nobody, not even yourself. Trust nobody, <laughs> not even your shelf. Not Crust even your shelf. Crust not nobody. even your elf. Sus no. <laughs> Summertime Render. Now this oh, is looking like one of the most this intriguing anime of the like season, Higurashi. being some kind of supernatural oh. murder mystery. You got a bit of ReZero, you got a bit of Higurashi, you got a bit of Cicadas, yeah. actually a Yeah. Also, we've watched both Higurashi OG and Higurashi Go over yeah. on our Patreon and that Isn't was Isn't this one like hell of a... Disney's, I think this is Disney's first anime and they oh. made it like a murder mystery? Yeah. It seems weird that they would go for that and not an isekai yeah. for the first one. I don't know if one. it's out yet, but I remember reading about it. I was like, oh. Zero. You got a bit of Higarashi. You got a bit of cicadas. Actually, a lot of cicadas. Did I mention this anime was set in the summer? Can you tell that this anime was set in the summer? It is way too early to tell how this one's going to play out, but trust me when I say, all it takes is exactly one episode to get you absolutely hooked just to find out what the hell is going on here. Jugliang or Juga Kong Ming was one of the greatest Chinese strategists of the Three Kingdoms period, as well as a statesman, engineer. <laughs> a premise this insane should not yeah, result in a show this good. Legendary ancient Chinese military strategist Juga Liang is reincarnated into modern day Shibuya, where he takes an interest in an aspiring singer and decides to become her manager, where he uses war tactics from Romance of the Three Kingdoms to gain her followers and popularity so she can what? rise up to stardom. What the fuck? This is what an absolute clusterfuck of ideas, yet somehow pulls everything together without feeling like Low XD, look at all this randomness, Lamau. The characters, the comedy, the charm, the opening that slaps harder than Will Smith on an Oscar night. It's been a long time since I've fallen for a show wow. this fast. Good job, because behind yeah. all the insanity, there is real quality to be seen here. Everything seems to be alright. you can be Somehow this has the best music production I've seen since Carol and Tuesday. If I had to put money on what would be the sleeper hit of the season, this would be it. But even if really? it isn't, you bet your ass I'm going to be singing this opening with the boys all the way to the clubs. A couple of cuckoos. I wonder what this is all about. Me. A couple of cucks? I was just thinking the trashy harem romance genre needed something new to spice it up, and it looks like we found a new contrived setup to do just that. Forget childhood friends, forget teacher-student relationships, forget family-friendly polygamy. We now have separated at birth arranged marriages. Who needs Spy what? X family when we got Nisekoi X domestic girlfriend going on here? But you know, as much as I want to get behind this, I don't know. I just feel like it's missing some kind of secret ingredient to make this the dumpster fire I was looking for. So this is going to be anime of the year. You enjoyed that video? Thank you very much. This. Oh no! Oh no! No no! <laughs> Japan, why? Let it out, baby. What kind of Alabama bullshit is this? Yes. <laughs> Japan, come on. Oh, Be Lord. better than that. <laughs> uh, a lot of this was definitely oh, relatable. No. Most, so, like half these shows we have either seen or heard of already. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, and whatever we didn't, we now have some more stuff to yeah. add to our polls for the Patreon now because yeah. a lot of them sounded interesting. I I don't know about the one about the fucking the old general going the, being the manager for a pop. I that don't, just seems... I, like I'll be honest, that might be a good one for the Discord yeah. community night. I don't know about doing that yeah. for a reaction series, bro. I don't know about that one. Like, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. Oh I think lord, that would be fun just to just to chill watch because. I think that's some of the things we've we've talked about this in the past with like Patreon and shit, um, with Bunny Girl Senpai. I think we would have liked that more had we just watched it, right? Versus not reacting to it because I like I watched two episodes. And I was cool with it. Yeah. Um, but kind of going in with a more whether nest un whether consciously or unconsciously having a more analytical mind watching anime. Kind 
Yeah. Messes up the charm of it. So maybe we'll just chill watch that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely see. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you guys want more Gidget here on the on the channel, you guys are going to have to keep suggesting more videos. We already have some from the last one, so don't worry. There will be more of his videos coming in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But if you guys want to keep seeing more of his videos, you got to let us know. Be sure to run up the likes. Be sure to comment all the videos of his that you want us to react to. And we will catch y'all for the next video. Bye. Bye.